Welcome to Fraser Brews in episode 4 of Beer Nuts. Today I'm just going to quickly run through my <coughs> glasses that I have um, and also just some information on a beer festival I just booked for tonight. So, first of all, we'll look at my beer glasses. Okay, I've got what six, five, six beer glasses, I think. A um, couple of them quite special to me. So first of all I'll show the two ones that are really special to me. So I've got this one, which is kind of a, it's not a Pilsner glass. I'd have to look it up to see exactly what it is. But it's from the Hoft Brew House in Munich. So I've got this one and also have, that's right, a one litre Stein. Got them both from <clears throat> when I was in Germany, when I went over there in 2007, I think it was, back when I was a youngster. Um, got them both from the Hoft Brew House Beer Hall, um, which is in Munich, or Munchen. See there. This one's crystal and holds a litre um, wife doesn't like me drinking out of this one so don't get to use it as often as I'd like um, this one's just half a litre so but those are my two favourite 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 ones but I also have another favourite one which the father-in-law bought me when he was over in Germany last June, July I think it was oh yeah I'm not exactly sure where he got it from um, it's got the old lid so it's no one roofies my drink oh, probably shouldn't joke about that but anyway um, yeah it's got the, it looks like it's from Bavaria um, it's got the Bavarian colours here like in the background and it's got Bayern written on it. I looked up Bayern, but I can't remember what it means. It's well, the soccer team's Bayern Munich, so must be something to do with Bavaria. Yeah, I'll try and find out. Sorry about that, guys. I had to um, delete some footage off my camera. Back to the glasses. Um, <clears throat> next up, I've got some six Pilsner glasses that I bought. I know only 50 bucks, so they're nothing too special, but they're Italian. I think they're Italian. They're made by some designer. I can't really read his name. And the sticker's not on here. It's. can't read it. <clears throat> but anyway, again, half a litre. Um, and that's just a standard Pilsner glass. It's a little bit dirty, needs a good clean. Um, but, okay. Um, then we come to my just bog standard glass. Um, if I'm just drinking in a one of my small bottles of 330 mil, just put it in this. It's nothing too flash. Just a standard generic big beer glass. Um, if I'm just having a quick beer, or if it's too small, not big enough to fit in one of my half a liters or <laughs> liter glass, then I just use this. Now, how do you wash your beer glasses? I always dread when I hear people go, oh, I just chuck it in a dishwasher, or I chuck it in with the dish wa water in the with your hand washing. Big, big, big no, no. The washing detergents leave like a little film residue inside the glass, and that just basically kills your head retention. Um, or if you can get any head at all out of pouring it into a glass that's been in it, just leaves like a film residue stuff. So generally, what I do is I have I get some bicarb soda. I think it's like a teaspoon. Fill the glass, give it a good shake, 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 and then just use my fingers just to wipe it round inside. Rinse that out, pour down the sink, 
Then I use like a cap of white vinegar and then fill the glass again. Again, shake, 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 shake. Wipe my fingers, pour out, fill water, shake, empty out, and just leave it on the side to air dry. <clears throat> Never have any problems with head retention, lacing, anything like that. And the glasses come out like no scent and essentially spotless so there's my tip for cleaning your glasses hopefully someone might stop putting them in the dishwasher now guys on to some good news for me I just booked some tickets for um, the Canberra Craft Beer Festival and Cider Festival um, it's only $25 a ticket, it's on the 13th of April I think it was, um, and I only paid $25 a ticket plus $3 booking fee I think it was, or $3.50, turned out like $57 for the two tickets for me and the wife, um, and it's down in Canberra, so any of you Aussies, check it out, I also found a website which I'll link, which has, um, a list of all the beer festivals throughout Australia. Not it's probably not all of them, but there's a good twenty listed on the site, and it's broken up into the months. So, if you're interested in going to a beer festival, trying new beers, craft brews, things like that, check out the page. It's pretty good. I only found it tonight, and that's where I found the Canberra Beer Festival. Um, and I'm hoping to stay down there for two nights. Um, should be good. Try some craft beer. You get. 10 free samples and a cup with your um your ticket so yeah let's try some beer um, the wife's probably just going to use hers and cider I actually might try some ciders myself don't mind cider it's quite quite refreshing um, you might find discover some new beers I haven't tried so <clears throat> it seems quite good um, and I'll just quickly show you the um, website now and the other website for the beer lists so catch you on the flip side here's the um, website of the Canberra Craft Beer and Cider Festival I was telling you about um, I've already got my tickets as you can see here's the information about the 2012 festival so 1300 people that's a fair, fair whack for craft, craft um, festival in Australia um, I know in the States you probably get a lot more people than that, but it looks like they had a pretty good day. They've got over 80 beers and ciders to try. Um, after I've used my 10 free that I get with my ticket, it's going to cost me a dollar per per taste, so it's what I'm going to, I don't know if I'd spend another $70 and try another 70 beers, but who knows? I'm going to go with some coinage, so hopefully I will. Oh, gourmet food stores. Can't be gourmet food, entertainment. Um, should be a good day all around. Beer festival page I was telling you about. Um, as you can see, there's already been a couple so far this year. Next one is the Canberra one, which I'll be going to, which is there. That's the 13th of April. Um, also, if I might try and get off that because I've got family that live in Melbourne, um, so <laughs> that's a week. Don't think I'd probably be able to go for the whole week because I'm going to UK in June. Um, I won't have enough annual leave, so I might go down for a day or two. And this German one I'd be interested in going to, but you click the link, it doesn't really go anywhere. Um, and then there's even a Newcastle one which is close to me in September and October, and the Blue Mountains one I'd be interested in. So it looks like there's quite a few um, festivals I might try and go to this year. Uh, hopefully I'll take the video camera uh, if they can con convince the wife into taking some footage otherwise I'll just uh, be behind the camera and try and talk my way through it cheers guys so as you can see there they are I hope you got some good information out of that um, before I go I just want to say a massive thank you to Daft Cat Brewing Thanks for the shout out video. Um, I enjoy your videos. Watched your homebrew Wednesday video. Wasn't even expecting in the slightest. 
that you were going to give me a shout out. I was just sitting there watching it. Um, next thing, boom. You're talking about me. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa what's going on? Um, I think that's probably the biggest smile I've had on my face all week. Next thing like she's talking about, click more info, boom, there's a link to my channel as well. So thanks for that. Um, if you want to check out Daft Cat Brewing, if you haven't, um, if you're not already subscribed to us, subscribe to her. I'll put a link down in the more info section for you so you can check out her channel and her Facebook page, which I've subscribed and liked. Um, I think that's pretty much all. Gonna go. Oh, one last thing before I go, which I almost forgot. I had a sneaky taste of my porter. Now, been in bottle what? Week and three days. Um, carbonation is not really there. It's there, but it's not carbonated well enough. Should have waited at least two weeks before I tried it. It's a sneaky taste, but it's not going to be drinkable after two weeks. It, it's drinkable, but carbonation wise, not after two weeks. So it's probably going to be at least three weeks until I can start cracking into it. But the taste it's, is awesome for a porter and steeping grains. If you haven't seen it, check out my channel. You'll see me. Um, Actually, no, I haven't got it on my channel because I did this one before I had the channel, so... Sorry, if anyone's interested, let me know and I'll supply the um, recipe. But in the glass, it's, it's, it's as black as a Guinness, which I, <laughs> I didn't mean to get that dark, but... Hey, who can complain? Also, surprisingly, when I was... From the aroma, it's got a slight smell of... Um, like a slight Guinness aroma to it which I don't know why because there's no barley in it and I haven't used any of the hops that are in um, Guinness so don't know where that's come from maybe it might mellow out in another week or so it'll be a completely different beer but I promise I won't touch it for another week and a half um, but when I do I'll do a beer review and share the love but anyway I think that's pretty much everything till next time cheers 17 Thanks for watching Fraser Breweries. Have another home brew, guys.